Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I want to talk about uh, using phenomenological study as a qualitative research method. In my previous videos, I have talked about the case study and the ethnography as a qualitative research method. You can find the links in the description section below. And in today's video, I will talk about the third type of qualitative research method you can adopt for your research studies. So phenomenology or phenomenology refers to a person's or a person's perception of the meaning of an event as opposed to the event as it exists external to the person. Basically, a phenomenological study is a study that attempts to understand people's perceptions and perspectives relative to a particular situation. It tries to answer the question, what is it like to experience such and such? For example, a researcher might study the experience of people caring for a uh, terminally or a chronically ill relative or maybe homeschooling a child or how is it to experience living in an abusive relationship. In some cases, the researcher has had personal experience related to the phenomena in question and wants to gain a better understanding of the experience of others of the same phenomena. By looking at the multiple perspectives on the same situation, the researcher can then make generalization of what something is like from an insider's perspective. So completely studying how a certain individual or group of people have experienced the phenomena. Phenomenological researchers depend exclusively on lengthy interviews with a small or carefully selected sample of participants. A typical size is from 5 to 25 individuals, I would say, all of whom have had direct experience with the phenomena. The key word here is that you are studying the experience of people. How has one perceived a certain phenomena or experienced a certain phenomena? The actual implementation of a phenomenological study is as much in the hands of the participants as in the hands of the researcher. The interview is often a relatively unstructured one. There are no structured questions. It's an unstructured one in which the researcher and participants work together to arrive at the heart of the matter. The researcher listens closely as participants describe their everyday experiences related to the phenomenon. The researcher must also be alert for subtle yet meaningful cues in participants' expressions, pauses, questions, and occasional sidetracks. A typical interview will look more like an informal conversation with the participant doing most of the talking and the researcher doing most of the listening, which should anyway be the case of a qualitative research. Throughout the data collection process, the phenomenological researchers try to suspend any preconceived notion. They want to ignore their own preconceived notion or their own personal experiences that may unduly influence what they hear participants say. Uh, this is sometimes called bracketing, uh, which can be extremely difficult for researchers who have personally experienced the phenomena under investigation but they have to leave their own experience aside and not be unduly influenced by it. You should completely be objective and record what the participant is saying about their experience. It is essential to gain an understanding of the typical experiences that people have had. Remember, the ultimate goal of this study is that not only for the researcher but also for the readers of the final research report to understand the phenomena better 
they must say i understand better what is it like for someone to experience for example being in an abusive relationship or taking care of a uh, terminally ill relative right they will understand it better so they will focus on what or the researcher should focus on what was the experience like for the research participants as a result the method of data analysis analysis in such kind of a study will search for meaningful concepts that reflect various aspects of the experience and integration of those concepts how those concepts come together into a seemingly typical experience so you have to integrate your findings together to create an understanding of an experience of a phenomena so i hope you guys like this video you could see that i was even struggling to pronounce phenomenological it doesn't come naturally to me but i hope in my future videos i will also take up the other qualitative research methods such as uh, the grounded study and content analysis and that will complete the series of videos on what are the types of study methods you can use or adopt in a qualitative research method thank you for watching the video and thank you for supporting the channel